what's up guys welcome back to the channel i know what you're thinking it's been a long time since i posted a video and i do apologize but i've been busy we've had crazy weather here in oklahoma things have just been you know up and down around and all that kind of stuff but i'm back with another video but before i tell you where i'm at i have to give a special shout out to hound hogs barbecue these guys are down there in georgia and if you want to see how to cook an SCA steak, those guys, you need, to, you need to definitely watch their channel, subscribe to their channel, do all that because they take you through the process of making a steak and how to make it look nice and pretty and all that. So Hound Hogs Barbecue down there in Georgia, those guys are doing, they're doing the real deal down there. Um, so today I am at a place called Max Barbecue and it's in Skytook, Oklahoma. Um, I got a lot of feedback and and request for me to come to check out this barbecue place people on instagram facebook and um, youtube have, have asked me to come check out this place of course i've never been here before i'm going to take you with me like i always do give you my feedback and what i thought about the place um i'm not looking for the perfect barbecue place when, when i do these videos i'm just going to different places i've never been before and just giving them you know my my feedback and what i thought so Thank you guys for always supporting me and rocking with my channel. Um, so yeah, here we go. Get that country Q, get your favorite barbecue. Yeah. Now it's your favorite food. Yeah. So much flavor, ooh. ooh. It's that country Q. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah. It's that country Q. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah. Coming straight up out the south. Bringing flavor to your house. Bringing flavor to your mouth. So much flavor, check it out. It's that country Q. Ooh. So I just made it inside of Max Barbecue. Um, pretty small place, but I ordered a little bit of everything on the menu. I have brisket, chopped and sliced. I have ribs, bologna, and I have hot mix with uh, baked beans and campfire potatoes, which I'm very excited to try. Um, this place is really nice. It's, it's a, like I said, it's a very small place, but it's very like homey, like. Um, it smells really good, it smells really smoky, so you can tell they're using some real wood back there. I'm excited to try this food, man. I'm really excited to try it. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like whenever they bring it out to my table. It looks like, it looks amazing. Amazing. Let me show you what it looks like. I'll show you what I got. So I got some campfire uh, potatoes. I got sliced brisket here. I got ribs here. I got chopped brisket. I got baked beans, hot links, and I got some bologna. And if you know me, you know I love a nice cold root beer. So this looks really good. Give you a nice little shot of everything. And nothing has sauce on it. The sauce is over here. Nothing has. Yeah, man, I got enough. I'm about to tear it up, man. Good. You the owner? Yeah. I'm Bristol, man. Nice to meet you, man. Meet you. I'm Adam. If you need anything, you holler. You I didn't will. get a chicken leg? I didn't get a chicken leg. All right. You doing all right? So, yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to turn this up, man. It's good to see you. As you heard, I just met the owner, Adam. I appreciate So, we're about to see what this is what this is doing. He's about to bring me a chicken leg. So, this is about to be good. I want to try this brisket first. Good. It's really good. Let's go Is for this the ribs. Your first time here? Yep. He's number two in the state of Oklahoma. I've gotten a lot of feedback about come try this place, so I'm about to find out how good it is. Hey, we okay. drive. We're, we used to drive from Bartlesville, but now we just drive from Sand Springs. Really? So. Thank they you. They got a little more everything. Yeah, man. Once you've had this, you can't eat nothing else. Is that right? Yeah. I'm about to find out. I mean, it looks good. It smells good. So, hey, you want to Okay. Oh, and you should have got the coleslaw. The coleslaw is phenomenal. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. You guys are you guys are locals? Well, no, we come from Sand Springs. Sand Springs. Wow. We, we used to come from Kansas down here. From Kansas? Yeah. Really? Really. They say good. I, wow. We tried for food. Yeah. This is my first time, so I'm about to see just how good it is. Oh, it looks good. It smells good. So. And those ribs. Are Appetite, Thank you, I appreciate it. So, I, I can tell. 
so I just got some chicken legs from the owner Adam for me to try. Um, and I was talking to some people and they said the food is great, so I'm about to see just how great it is. But like I said, very nice place, very nice people. Uh, look at that rib there though. Look at that. Wow. 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 That's good. Let's go for the chopped brisket. Everything is really good. Everything. I'm about to try. I'm gonna try this chicken. He just brought me the chicken for me to try it. These things are huge, though. Huge. Let's try it out. That's good, man. See what I'm rocking? Rocking that Primo. Shout out to my man John. Put a little Primo hat. Appreciate that. Check him out. But this is good. I'm gonna go for the bologna now. Oklahoma's, we love some smoked bologna, man. I think this is maybe just an Oklahoma thing, but we we really get down on some bologna, man. Really thick to thick slices. It's good, man. Okay, now I'm gonna go for the beans. Beans are good. Now, I, was, I heard some things about these campfire potatoes. I'm gonna see what they're like. I guess they're like, I guess they're kind of like scallop potatoes a little bit. They're really thick. Kind of remind me like a hash brown with like cheese or something in it. Um, I'm not a big fan of cheese and hash browns, but these are, these are not bad. tried everything and legitimately everything is good so I'm about to eat this I'll take you or tell you when I'm done let you know what I thought about it but so far I think this is going to be a really good meal so thanks you guys for watching with me rocking with me and we'll see how everything turns out when I'm done so I'm midway through my food and I had to pause and stop and think like this is how I like my barbecue this is as close as country Q barbecue as you're gonna get that I've had so far. Um, it's smoky, but not over smoked. You can taste the flavor of the food, you can taste the rub, you can taste the seasoning. Um, it's nice portions for the price. Um, like this is this is as close as to country Q as you're gonna get that I've had so far. I'm gonna keep eating this, but I had to just let y'all know that like this is this is good. These smokers are designed have gas hooked up to them. Yeah. We don't hook gas up to anything. The way they're designed, you hook gas up to them, you throw a log in, set your temperature on it, and shut the door. But instead, we like to do it old school, so we put, we don't hook up gas, and we use this door as a bathroom. You know I, mean? I love it, man. Yeah, I love it. Those pits, man. I think they'll yeah. just put on some ribs over here. So you got these two smokers? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, these are smokers. Oh man. Step on that pedal right there, bro. You come around, take a look. Woo! That looks amazing. Wow. Look at all that back there. Got ribs in there, man. And ribs, ribs on top. Ribs, turkey, oh, wow. 
Wow, I didn't All see right, that. Yeah. Can I see that? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Those are our points. That's that chopped brisket you like. We separate our points in our flats. Okay. Those. Yeah, people, look at that. Yeah. You cannot beat this. Yeah. Wow. How many briskets will this thing hold? Uh, we could. We usually have anywhere from twenty to forty briskets at a time, maybe. Wow. Just on this one? Yeah. Wow. So like today we probably got a little slower. There's probably twenty on here. Good. Check that out, man. So check out the menu, guys. Really nice menu, man. Nice place. Small place, but a nice place. Did you see that tour that I just got? Amazing. These guys are legit, man. Like, just local people, man, doing a good job. Uh, just excited to be here, man, and just taking you guys along with me, man. So, you saw the smokers, you saw the pits, and all that. And I think he's going to give me a hat. So, you can't beat that, man. And got cobbler coming and whatever else. So, it's been a great experience, man, for sure. For sure. Check out the place. Yeah, small place, but with a lot of a lot of love. It just feels like like home a little bit. I'd say, uh, very nice, down to earth people, man. Very nice. The owner's nice. Um, yeah, man. Every everything is everything is great for sure. I, no lie, everything's great here. Max Barbecue. Okay, so I just finished eating barbecue at Max Barbecue here in Skytook, Oklahoma. Um, my first impression of the place was. Um, it's a very small place. I didn't think I was gonna have anywhere to sit, but people began to leave as I, you know, came in and stuff like that. So I found somewhere to sit, ordered my food, and man, the impression of the food was amazing. The place, like I said, it's a small place, but it's like it's full of flavor. And for me, those are places I really like because it's like that down home. Um, <clears throat> small town vibe that you get you know kind of like home or like family gathering type um and it was amazing so the food i had was i mean you saw it but i had chopped brisket sliced brisket um ribs had two spare ribs um i had bologna and i had hot links and he, he brought me some uh, chicken legs also the sides i had were baked beans and their like I guess they're spin on like hash browns I forget campfire potatoes what it's called um, and I usually give you guys like what I like the most to least and I'm gonna be honest with you like everything in my opinion was great all the meats were great the brisket the chopped in a slice it was good it was it was flavorful it was moist it wasn't dry um, the ribs were great standalone without any sauce on it um, the bologna was great. Told you people in Oklahoma, we love bologna. Um, the hotlings were good too. Um, they wasn't as hot as I thought they were going to be, but they were still good hotlings. Um, only thing I didn't really care for was the campfire potatoes. Um, they have cheese in them, I think, and I'm not really a big fan of cheese and potatoes, um, but that's, that's no big deal. But the beans, to me, the beans were great. Um, like, like I told you guys, like everything here for me, just Bristol, was amazing. Like, I would definitely be coming back to this place just to enjoy the food and the atmosphere and the people. Um, I got to meet the owner. Um, I got a tour of the smokers, you know, all that in the, in the prep area and stuff like that. And um, got a couple souvenirs. Um, like, it, like it was great, man. Like I. I appreciate this place like it was it was amazing so out of 10 I would definitely give it a 9 definitely the best place I've been um, since I've started this YouTube channel between this place and um, the place in Texas um, Hutchins Hutchins and this place to me are, are my top ones that I've had um, and I think this I like this place so much because it reminds me of how I like to do barbecue um, if you want to get an idea of what country Q barbecue tastes like, come here. Um, because I think the way he does his rubs, the way he um, cooks his briskets and everything like that, it's very similar to the way I cook my food. So, like I said, this place was great. 
if you guys are ever in Skytie, Oklahoma or in Oklahoma period, please check this place out. You'll love the place, the people, the atmosphere, the owner. Um, he was great, man. And I'm looking forward to coming back just to just come support it. Um, so, yeah, guys, thank you for checking out this video. I appreciate it. And I guarantee you I'll be making more videos sooner. It won't take as long as this one did. So thank you guys for always supporting my channel. I'm um, giving me feedback and, and I read your comments. I get your emails. I try to respond to everyone as much as I can. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for your support and your feedback and see you on the next one. Ooh, yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah.